you'd better watch out ubiquity for a long time now you've been perched on top of that home network prosumer space but i'm here to tell you guys there's a new sheriff in town and they are doing all the right things in fact they are doing one super important thing that you and pretty much all your competitors are failing to do. And today we're gonna to talk about it and why you guys need to look at this new player in the space when building your new home. Hey guys, welcome to the Ethernet Blueprint channel where we try to focus on helping you build in a great network in your new construction home. And today we're gonna to be talking about a new player in the networking space that's making big waves. Okay guys, before we get going and talking about Alta Labs, I did want to share a little bit of a disclaimer. I wanted to let you guys know, just to be fully transparent, that I am not sponsored by them at all. All the opinions that I'm sharing in this video are that of my own, however, they have sent me some equipment for free to test and play with and share with you guys. And so that's what we're going to be talking about today. I also don't want to give off the wrong vibe when it comes to Ubiquity. I still really love their products or most of them. However, in recent years, I really feel that they've made some moves in their products and their interface that just kind of make me want to scratch my head. I mean, just take a look at the dream wall. I mean, who is that thing even for anyway? I don't get it. And I sort of compare it to like when you uh, see a commercial for McDonald's and they show you how good their burgers look versus what you get in the bag. And if you look at the pictures on the screen, it looks awesome on their website. However, unless you take the perfect amount of steps and just get everything right in your build, it almost never looks like that in a real home. And it's just one of those things that I, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't understand what, who that's even for. But let's go ahead and get started. Now, back in August of 2023, I did a review on a couple of the Alta Labs AP6 Pro access points after using them in my house for a couple of days. And my review basically said, I think these guys are gonna be a real player in the prosumer home networking space. And since then, they have even improved things more. Not only have they improved their Wi-Fi and the interface, but they've also released a line of fully managed PoE Plus switches to their lineup. However, while all that is great, it isn't even the best thing they're doing. So make sure you stay to the end of this video where we talk about the thing that they are doing that sets them apart from everybody in the space. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is speed. Alta Labs uses a kind of a heavy hitter Qualcomm chip in all their access points, which gives it more of a Wi-Fi 7-like performance in a Wi-Fi 6 device. What many of you may not know is that the designer behind this is a guy by the name of Jeff Hansen. And Jeff has been designing with Qualcomm chips in wireless products since he was around 15 years old. You can see where he talks about it in this video. However, what you may not know is that he was one of the lead engineers back at Ubiquity. So he's got a little bit of an inside scoop about what the other guys are doing. Now, when it comes to Wi-Fi, I think we can all agree, we just all wanted to work and go as fast as it possibly can. And Alta Labs has set out to do that, building in like seamless roaming and using quality hardware for their products. However, that's not the only area they are fast. When you make a configuration change on the controller and hit go to send it down to your clients or your devices, they instantly know about it. And that helps things run as smooth as possible with very limited downtime. And it's one of the features that I think is really, really great in their products. In addition to speed, they've also taken steps to make their equipment very easy to set up, which I think is really great for any newbies out there or non-technical people wanting to have a great network. All you need to do to get their equipment online is to plug it in so it has power and can get out to the internet and then download their free app and sign up for an account. Once you have an account, this gives you access to their free controller. I want to interrupt my video real quick to let you know that at the time of recording this, February 2024, there was no local controller for Alta Labs equipment. However, we have been told one is coming and should be here by this summer. So if you are in the market for a network and you are building a house, but just are worried about that local controller, just know it's coming, guys, and should be here real soon. Okay, well, that was kind of rude. Not very nice to interrupt people, but let's go ahead and get back to our video. 
Now, once you get in there, you're gonna enter some very simple information, verify your email address, and just in a matter of minutes, your controller will be up and running. Next, you'll need to continue to follow the prompts on the app to set up your site, which is where all your home network configurations are gonna be kept. And then as part of your setup, you'll be asked to create your first Wi-Fi network with password and add your devices using the setup button on your phone. Once that is completed, you'll be able to navigate freely around the app or the web portal if you choose to fine tune your network settings, add other Wi-Fi networks and etc. Now, one thing I recommend doing is naming your devices. This is gonna help you visualize what is actually happening on your network, which makes it easier to manage. The entire process from start to finish can be done in under 10 minutes. Another area they have spent some time thinking about is their pricing and accessibility. That's right, it is really easy to get their products. I mean, have you heard of a little website called Amazon? If you go over to amazon.com, you can have access to their full lineup of products to have them ordered and bought and shipped to your door in just a matter of a few clicks. If you head over to Amazon, you can see they have a really nice store created that gives you a little bit of a tidbit of all the stuff they're talking about and tells you a little bit about their cloud management and the products they offer. As you scroll down to the bottom, you'll get down to the pricing of everything. Um, you see a couple access points and then their line of switches. The big difference between the two access points is they're both Wi-Fi 6, but the AP6 Pro does have the faster Qualcomm chipset in it, which gives you that Wi-Fi 7 performance and a Wi-Fi 6 device. It is also IP54 rated, which means it can be um, near outdoor elements and get you know wet to a certain extent um, and be okay, whereas the other one does not have that. They are offering three different types of switches. There's the eight port, 16 port, and 24 port switch. You can see the prices there. Uh, real quick, the eight port is $150, has four PoE plus ports and 60 watts of total power. It is a gigabit switch. The 16 port switch has eight ports of PoE plus power, um, is also a gigabit switch and has two SFP ports on it as well. It has a total of 120 watts. If you come down to the 24 port switch, it is a step up from the others. It has two SFP plus ports, which offers 10 gig speeds. It has 240 watts of power and 16 PoE plus ports. All of them are fully managed and offer a lot of the great features. So you're gonna have the same feel um, when you're managing devices, no matter which one you get. Now, if anybody would like to uh, support the channel, I do have some affiliate links below in the description. Feel free to click on them. It just helps out the channel so we can continue to make great content for you guys. And I appreciate any help or support you can give. Now, all the speed, performance, accessibility, all that stuff is great, but it's not even the best thing they're doing. When I tell you this, it's gonna seem like it's very, very simple, but I think a lot of the big companies out there really struggle with this, and that is they're listening to their customers. They're listening to their testers, guys. As they've released products, they've really done a good job of outreaching to people and finding out what is important to them. As a matter of fact, we'll take the example of the local controller. I think that was farther down on their roadmap as they wanted to get out at least a router, a switch, and access points. However, once they released their access points and the public heard that they could only use a cloud controller, they reacted and they moved that up and gave it a higher priority in their roadmap to, um, to accommodate that because they knew it was important to their customers. I really think that the net gears of the world, ubiquities of the world, and, and these other uh, players in the prosumer market, or really any market, as far as that go, kind of struggle with this. They make their products. If you like it, great. If you don't, you don't. But Alta Labs is trying to be different. They're trying to listen to their people and actually give a product that you guys have a say in. I'll give you another example. I actually went on their forum because I don't love how their APs mount. They have a toolless uh, mounting bracket for their access points um, that is supposed to be made simple. However, I have found it's a bit more challenging than it's supposed to be. And I just, I don't love how far away the access point sits away from the ceiling and some things like that. So I went out to the forum and I was looking to see if anybody was talking about it. And sure enough, I'm not the only one in the space that has been critiquing their mount a little bit. So I read through the reviews and I basically said, hey, here's the deal. 
here's the things I don't like. I sent a couple pictures to them and within a day, I had a reply from Ultalab saying, hey, how'd you mount this? We wanna know more um, because if there's ways we can fix it, that's great. And we are in the process of making improvements based off what our customers are saying. So right there you go is another great example of them listening to their customers to try to create the best product out there. And I think Ubiquiti probably started out doing that maybe when they were smaller. And since then, they've just gotten so big that it's really maybe difficult for them to do. So I guess time will tell on the Ulta Lab side whether or not they're gonna continue to be able to do this and kind of be the device for the people, or if they will, uh, like everyone else, outgrow that and just start making whatever they want and not listening to anybody. Um, but right now, as it stands, it's a great time to get in that market space because they are listening. They are working very, very hard to make their products better, to make them more usable, to make them successful. So when you guys build your home and you decide to put in this great network, you can rest assured they're gonna take good care of you with some good products. Now, when it comes to a router firewall, we're sort of all in the same predicament, right? It's coming, Ulta Labs has said it's on the way, but we don't know when it's gonna be here. So, in light of that, I've decided to do a couple more videos and show you guys some really nice router options that will pair with Ulta Labs equipment, give you the ability to do VLANs and some other really, really nice features. So please like or subscribe to check out those videos. In the meantime, thank you for watching today. I hope you got some enjoyment out of this. I hope you learned something about Ulta Labs and we will see you guys in a future video.